Activists from throughout the state are calling on politicians to make changes when it comes to racial inequalities and police brutality. Adam Duxter explains how they're using personal stories to shed light on the issues at hand. Today's message at the Capitol was one of unity, saying that it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican, if you're black or if you're white, that everyone must come together to create lasting change. A group small in size at the Capitol with a big purpose this evening. Uh, today we're here to uh, showcase the families that have uh, been uh, affected by police brutality. Families like the Acevedos from Milwaukee, whose son Joel was killed by an off-duty police officer this past June. I'm not going to rest until these laws get changed, until the Republicans and the Democrats stop playing politics with us and do what they were sworn to do when they took office and we put them there. Also sharing their story and advocating for change tonight, Tari Davis, who was shot by Milwaukee police after a suspect they were chasing ran into his home. Most people who have been in a situation similar to mine don't survive, but I don't want people to burn the streets down over the situation. I want you to be aware. I want you to be awoke. I want you to see that just because you don't go through it, doesn't mean it's not happening. These families are calling out officials like Representative Sheila Stubbs to act. Stubbs, who was recently made part of a joint task force between the two parties to address racial and police issues, says she's prepared to make a change. We have no time to waste. I don't want a Breonna Taylor here in Wisconsin. Right. I don't want a George Floyd. It could be me. It could be you. It could be our family members. I don't have time to play. Lives are at stake, and it is reality. Now, those who organized today's event say it's the first of many and that they'll continue to fight until they get the change they would like to see. Now, as for Representative Stubbs, she says she and the rest of the task force will continue to work to make Wisconsin better for everyone. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Now to learn more about what was said tonight or any of the stories of families who spoke, you can visit our website, channel3000.com.